Okay, so I also wanted to follow up on our discussion, <clears throat> excuse me, about Google Read Write extension. So the Google Read and Write extension um, is the extension I told you I would look into uh, and see that if it worked with our databases. Um, and the and the short answer is yes, it does. So um, here's my Google Read Write extension. It sits up here in the URL bar until I'm ready for it, and then when I click on it, it gives me this toolbar that you see right here at the top of the screen. Um, so I didn't really get to show you the full functionality because I didn't have a an account activated, but I did go under my other Gmail account, which is my Park Ridge here, and I did create a full teacher account. Now, what I didn't realize is that they've created um, the ability for all teachers to have access to the full suite. So um, right now, what you're seeing is the fully activated version, um, and apparently all teachers now can have the fully activated version. Now, will that help your students? No, it won't. But again, I really wanted you guys to maybe um, download it, have the full version on your computer, play with it for a little while, and then maybe give me some feedback um, and see if it's something we maybe want to purchase for our students moving forward. So um, here's an example of one of um, the databases that Kelly, Katie Nellen has set up for us. Um, this is just the ABC one. I went in and searched for um, an article on phytoplankton. Um, and so uh, this article, The Effects of Acid Rain, um, does mention phytoplankton. So it came up as one of the articles. Um, and this is irrelevant to the Google Read Write uh, discussion, but I, I wanted to point this out that because we were talking about text-to-speech options, I didn't realize this one database that Katie um, supplies us with does read to the students. And what's even nicer is if I click um, listen Acid and start reading. Acid rain damages both the environment and the urban landscape and may even affect... What's really nice is if you can see what it just did, it highlights one sentence that the student is, is reading and moves word by word with the cursor. So that's even r nicer than some of the extensions and stuff I showed you. Unfortunately, obviously, that only works within this database. But I just thought that it was cool and I would point that out. Now, as far as the Google Read Write, I didn't, like I said, I didn't get to show you that highlighting feature, so I'll show you now. So as you can see, my Google Read Write toolbar sits up here. Let's say the students go through here and you tell them that you want to um, talk about three effects that acid rain has. So they find one here, and let's say they decide they want to highlight that in blue. They can click on the blue highlighter. Um, they find another effect on forests here. Um, and finally, um, one more here that it erodes historic buildings and monuments here. Uh, but then you also say you want them to collect scientific evidence in, let's say, green. So um, here's something about pH. So I can hit green for that. And let's say I also find some scientific evidence. I'm not really reading this, but down here, approximately 50,000 people. Okay, that's data as well. Um, and then finally, let's say they're going through and collecting opinions in yellow. Um, so let's go down here and let's say this was an opinion. And let's do yellow. Now, once the student is fully done marking up the article with their highlights, this is the coolest thing about Google Read, right? This button right here, it's collect all highlights. If I click on collect highlights, look what it does. It automatically generates a Google Doc all on its own. I'm going to click OK. And it's collected now all of those highlights. Not only has it collected them, but it's aggregated them by color. So if all of my green ones were my scientific evidence, they're all now together, regardless of the fact that this is not the order that I highlighted them in. All of the green is now together, all of the blue is now together, all of the yellow is there. Uh, furthermore, if you see it automatically threw in the link for where I obtained that information. So now students have a direct reference to where they got that, um, and they really won't lose track of where did I collect these notes from. So again, if you have any questions, I'm here to help. Um, and you know, if you have trouble activating a premium version, let me know, and I'll, I'll be sure to help you. And uh, let me know your feedback on this so we can maybe get some justification for possibly getting it for our students next year. Have a great day.